Hey everybody, hope you can see me. Uh, this is Earl on the Max Proud channel. And um, I got another My Bass Brothers video. Okay, this is the second one in the whole line I plan on doing. And uh, this is my friend right here. That's it. That? Introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, my name is Ken. You might have seen me in one of his earlier videos a few years ago. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still hanging out with this guy. Okay. Well, listen, listen, listen. Now, as you probably know, I got a lot of bases here who are, that are copies of uh, other uh, well-known bases. We won't mention those names, right? <laughs> he has an authentic music man here. Classic. Okay. Classic music man. Reissue. It's a reissue. And uh, it's got some 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 of the things in the uh, Music Man Ernie Ball are original from the, the early Stingray days, Music Man days. But everything's not authentic, right? I mean, the um, well, this is remade after the authentic original Music Cause Man. Because the pickup, that's not the same. They didn't make that kind of pickup back then. Well, they Here, improved they upon the pickup. Improved, right? Here. I'm just gonna, you're, 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 you hold your camera. Okay. Right? Okay. Come a little bit more. Okay. Watch that door. Okay. As you can see. Nice little, uh... As far as, as the bridge, this is the original bridge they used to do. It came with a mute that was down here. Mine's is off. But, um... And they used to, you know, the, the, the modern uh, Stingray had uh, four pots. This only has three like the original. Right, the original. They didn't have the mid-range. Okay. That came later. And, uh, these but are the That's mutes. how the, the mute mutes. look. Right. And it was fit up in here. But um, I don't really need them, so I took them, took them off. Mm -hmm. So, here's a imitation. As you can see, it's got that uh, bridge on it that everybody loves. It. They, now, they're saying that this kind of bridge gives them more tonality. That's mm -hmm. what they're saying. Right, the bigger the bridge, yeah. you get better tone. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's the, the only side match. I think that was Travens that have the bridge that go into the pig yard. You notice okay. that, and that's that's for the tone. Okay, we got enough length here. Let us. I'll well, start with the. Start with that. You want yeah. you want to play this first? Yeah. I mean. Okay, I'll pl I'll play. I want comparisons to as I'll play. Right, cool. We're gonna do a comparative analysis here. This copy is so good. Show them the back. Right here where it says where it made at. Oops. Oops, sorry. They even printed that. Yeah, they even printed that. Even thing. printed that. And it wasn't made in California. <laughs> no, it was made in uh, Southeast Asia. Or something. Yeah, it's not work like that. I'm not trying to be funny. Right now. Hold on one second. I'm going to switch this on. And we're going to get some sound. Out of here. It's set the way I like it. <laughs> Now this is a um, this is a different kind of preamp in here. Oh, okay. Because okay, I don't know. Do you have one uh, one knob volume? Yeah. No, you don't. You don't have two volume like like a no, jazz. No, I And I believe this is a uh, this is a uh, tonality. You yeah, take off the bass and put it on. So what the other two knobs? Okay, do? this is probably a blend. Blend, and this is bass. So, okay, so that's pretty much the, the right sound, right? Okay, that the, right. the music man has. Well, that's why we're having this. We're gonna okay, we're see, gonna see what right this bass sound. No, 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 get this, get one of y'all. No, 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 you're you're for we, we're doing comparison. Okay, this is comparison. Okay, I want you to play so they can hear the same thing you played on that one on this one. So we get a true comparison. This, this, this guy's taking over the video. Okay. <laughs> Just misses it just by a little bit. Yeah, it's 
by a little bit. Let you, let your audience tell you. That's why we have. This is the real deal. The real deal. The real deal. The real deal. Okay. Yeah. And that's what he wants me to say. This is the real deal. Welcome. See, but, and the craftsmanship is awesome. Uh, this uh, I really like the maple neck here. This is uh, really really nice. See the grains in the wood. How they? I forgot what type of wood to use. It's real. <laughs> it's real. Okay. It's real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, next up, check this out. Okay, you hold on to your base yeah. and take this back. Mm -hmm. Now here's where it gets exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna give you. Um, not. I, I did a video on this uh, some time ago uh, on the OLP. Now OLP is uh, OLP stands for what? Uh, like original licensed product or something like that. I'm not something sure. Like that. But um, it was a company. Uh, out of Korea, I believe. Mm -hmm. That correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, know about sometimes. Uh, that um, music man hired to make a cheaper bass for them. That was non-active. It was passive. I got one of those original OLPs here, but I put a preamp in it. Now let's see how close. Now this must be the, the real, at least the real. In my cabin, the real music man in. pickup in here, mm -hmm. and that's a real. Now that's a real music man bridge down there. A smaller bridge. That's the one in there. So, let's see how this sounds. You know, this originally, like I said, was was a passive. We're gonna see how this sounds as comparison to yours. Mm -hmm. You remember how yours sound? Right. right. See that ring? It's close. close. Right, okay, so you, you agree. Yeah, I always like to Still work. not that, but this is close. Right. Okay, better than that copy. And they sell these with the preamp in them, I'm not mistaken, so. Well, they had the, what, okay, they had the MM. I've seen one, one or two. And they were passive, and then they had another one, a three. So they had one with a, hum, a double yeah. humbucker? Yeah. I think that, that, that one has one. a preamp. Okay, right, 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 right. And it sounded like that? And it's very inexpensive, too. Wow. This is a good pick. Oh, this was about three hundred, right? You know, without without anything added to it, right? Yeah, I put a like a fifty dollar preamp to them, mm -hmm. so three fifty. So that's that there. I hope you can see me. I got the camera. Right camera angle. Even if you check out the frets, it's nice and smooth. You see some cheaper bases, you go like, you know, you got to get a band aid. This is a nice neck. Okay. As we'll see in one of the other bases. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna it made me bring out the gamut. Huh? That's just right. The gamut, the gamut. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's another version. Now I'm, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna measure up anywhere near your base. In fact, uh, this is probably the least of the old. But okay. This one you guys have seen before. This is by Stag. Stag, Music Man. So there, and I have another one too. There's no need to get that one. Um, and I'll put preamp in this one, as you can see, he's got you know, four, you know, pamp pots there. Let's try this one out. See if this is anywhere close. Now bear in mind, I, yeah, I probably, you know, yeah, you probably know this is not going to be, you know, anywhere near what a music man is. But as an alternative, this is probably, some of the bases I show you is probably the best you can get. And that's the method of my channel here. So, you know, we try to find bargains and stuff like that. For those of us poor people that can't He's not afford poor. poor you, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Poor people, you know, you know, yeah, he, this guy he has it, man. He gets he gets the best. He may can't afford it, but he gets the best, okay? Now, this is a little duller sound. He should unplug this one right now.
this is a uh, this is like a they call this the soap bar. This kind of pickup is like half the size of the. Uh, it sounds like a soap bar. It sounds <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this bridge isn't bad, and uh, you know it's not gonna measure up like that one, but you know. So of the three, I just showed you the OLP. It's probably the I closest. would say the closest is OLP. It's a good bargain for the money. I agree with you. I, I didn't yes. agree yet. I didn't agree I yet. I left this in the <laughs> store. <laughs> Stag Stag is not a bad company. It, I mean. Uh, they're, well, they're, the they're, virtually, they're virtually inexpensive. Right, but it's not just about expensiveness. You want to have good sound and a good feel. If you can find any bass that give you a good feel, you feel good playing it because all basses don't feel the same, and a good sound, go for it. And OLP, as far as being the closest to this, what I'll say right now. So, but you know the method of my channel. You know why I do it. Right. right. Just to give you bargain. So uh, the OLP, you have voted for as the closest. But but you know, isn't that kind of an unfair advantage? Is I mean, uh, Music Man did do this bass. So <laughs> I mean, you know, see, I didn't even know that. You didn't. Even, you didn't know. I told you that Music Man does OLP. Yeah, they 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 they, they, they own the OLP, and they had they, uh, a Korean company, you know, do this for them. I you know. even know that. And uh, in fact, the uh, Sterling series that mm -hmm. they have out now, that's probably done in Indonesia or Korea somewhere. Oh, okay. So, no, no, the U that's what I love about his channel. He always gets some useful information every time he comes on. With Yours was made in the U.S. Let's check. Right. Let's check. I think it was USA made. That's what's... He has the... Where's that? Right that right there. Well, now, now that could be copied like the other one, Don't but I'm looking for a USA, <laughs> made in the USA. You can even look at the tuning heads. It'll say Music Man somewhere on there, I do believe. Bridge, Music Man, Music Man. with the serial number. With the serial number there. No, okay. This is authentic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, here, here it may seem, no, just the Music Man. No, I mean, all they need is this. Okay. I mean, I don't think they will copy this on... Uh, well, you know, when, when they do that overseas, ladies and gentlemen, you know, they're not, uh, let me say, I think the statute of limitations on it runs out at a certain time. Don't get your drunk. Uh, and um, they can do what they want over there. I mean, who's going who's gonna to complain, right? Right. But the main the main thing about this <laughs> particular series, folks, is he shows you all the bass. He do a good job. But as far as tone, I want you to actually hear what a music man sound like compared to what he's been rub showing it in, you. Rub it in. I'm not rubbing it in. So you can actually make a comparison. And for investment, instead of me trying to play five or six different bases, this is the only base I own. And it, it does the job for me. So that's, you know, if you're one of those type of persons that you want to get something that you're going to keep for a while, that you, it, guitar is like a woman to me. You know, I don't. You're trying to get an endorsement from Ernie Ball, aren't you? Yeah, I show sure am. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's worth the money. I gotta call later. I gotta call him later. I gotta call. No, I gotta call later. Call later. Yeah. That's another. Actually, that's another bass friend. Man. Maybe one day I'll get him. You know, so, so you know. It's been a uh, pleasure being on your show. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? Wait a minute. Let me, let me get it. Hello? Damn. Okay, keep going. Keep you know, going. I'm going to do something. Keep going. Keep, keep explaining about that. Well, um, mainly if you're starting off playing, he has a great sight. Hey, man, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Hey, guess Tell what, me. man? Come on. Guess what, Tim? You know what I mean? What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, are, you are live on my channel. You're live on the Max Proud channel. This is another bass friend of mine. His name is Tim Morrison. I'm going to put him right up there to the screen. Say hello, Tim. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, <laughs> we, you know what we're doing right now, Tim? Well, what's going on? We're you know all those Music Man uh, uh, copies that I have? Right. Uh, we're right. comparison. I got my friend Ken here with his real, you probably saw him in one of my videos, with his real Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray, and we're comparing bases to see how close my bases are to the authentic sound of the Music Man Stingray bass. You know, that's unbelievable because I just, I called you for that express reason is because I wanted to ask you about the Dr. Tech uh, Music Man type Stingray. Is it different 
This is very ironic. I got another. I got a doctor tech. <laughs> yeah, see, he hid that one. <laughs> I don't want you to dog it out. <laughs> I got it for ninety nine bucks. Hell, now, you know. This is worth every penny. Believe me. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, you know. One day I'm gonna have to have a phone interview with you because, uh, uh, you know, until until one day you come to, uh, you know, back home, back home, Detroit. He's in California, y'all, and um, you know, and uh, get together and show everybody what uh, a great bass teacher you were to me because of uh, your playing. Well, well, no, no, you know that's not true. Well, we're live right now. I want people to know that I will be out there in June or July. <laughs> well, well, well done, Grasshopper. Okay, <laughs> but hey, let, listen, listen. Well, we did some comparison, and uh, believe it or not, I mean it's pretty, pretty uh, safe to say that Oil OLP, which you know uh, was once owned by Music Man, uh, 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 that came out as the closest to the genuine article. Oh, that was the closest. Okay. Right. So, so. Uh, the rest of them kind of paled in comparison, I must admit. But uh, like I was telling the viewers out there, if you want a bargain, you know, sometimes you got to go with something else. Because uh, unlike, like I said, Ken here, who was uh, rich and can afford a uh, fifteen no. to two thousand dollar base, you know, other people out there need help. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that new base. That's right. The sub base coming out. That, that's right. There is a new base coming out called the sub base uh, under the Sterling title, and it's. I think. I think they're trying to. Uh, Ernie Ball is trying to tap into that uh, Indonesian and Korean market that. Uh, trying to make it affordable. Yeah, 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 affordable like Yamaha does with uh, some of his GSR two hundred. You, you know the video that I have on GSR uh, two hundred. Great base uh, with a little preamp in it and. Very inexpensive, uh, maybe two and a half, uh, $100 now, 259 something like that. And uh, they started off at 200 They got a base coming out that looks exactly like the Stingray. Uh, some of the same, um, you know, uh, hardware and uh, same preamp. And I, ha and I haven't, and I'm just assuming this is what they say. This is what the critics are saying in uh, Guitar Player Magazine and whatnot, like Bass Player Magazine and whatnot like that. They say it sounds either close or exactly like an authentic Stingray. And yet, it's only two hundred and eighty dollars is going to be sold for. Can't beat that if that's true. If the, I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So, so we're going to see. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, my guitar center will get it late. They always get the new models late. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I'll, uh, I'll grab one. Uh, will I buy one? I don't know. know. He's gonna get one. Uh, you don't know. You get tone for two hundred dollars. It's a stick. I will get one. Y'all yeah, 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 just presupposing that I'm gonna get one. Huh? I think that's the one with uh, um, heavy metal bassist uh, Alex Webster on the cover. Uh, that's the one, and, and, and in fact, I'm looking at it right now. Can I show it on the air here? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's so this scary. This is the one that has it in there. I'm showing it right now. And, um,. You know, and I'll uh, uh, check it out. And uh, I mean, a music man with the same kind of sound for 280 bucks plus yeah, tax. Yeah. My goodness. That's scary. Is that scary or what? That's tremendous. Mm. That's tremendous. Tremendous. So, right. so this is a, right. this is what the, uh, uh, thanks for reminding me about that, Tim. Tim Morrison, everybody. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice. And like I said, this is what this channel is about, trying to save you a little money so you can, to get you playing. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, Tim, listen, I'm going to call you back. I'm, I'm, uh, guys coming over to practice in a little bit. But, man, uh, it's so beautiful to have you on, man. Uh, even though you're not here in person, you're here. Your voice is here and it's in spirit. Tim Morrison, ladies and gentlemen, right here. All right. Give me a back from my original question. Okay. See you later. All right, Tim.
Tim Morrison, everybody, from California. <laughs> okay, this is probably my longest video. I only get 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So are we, are, are, we, are, are we working on 15? I don't know. But that's me from the uh, Max Proud channel. Thanks to Ken, pretty much. I mean... You know, nothing beats an authentic music man, which I knew already. It's just it, I just know. wanted everybody here to comparison and sound, because when he plays these copies, you hear them. But I know somebody might. Say, I wonder how that compared to a real one. Is it close? You heard today the comparison and sound. But nothing you know, like a real music man, hey? right. like a real Fender or a real Gibson or you know. Right. So, until next, Bass America. This is Earl Davis. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Tim. Tim Morrison. I'm going to put this video up soon. <laughs> Thank you on the Max Proud channel. Let's see you later.